I bet you're thinking, Emma, this is not your kitchen. Where in the world could you be? Well, it all started when I was born. I had this crazy idea yesterday where I was like, I am going to go on a last minute trip. I need it, I need a little recharge. So I'm just gonna go to the desert for 48 hours. So I rented an Airbnb and this morning I drove here. I'm in the desert. And I set some rules for myself. I was like, okay, rule number one, no social media. Rule number two, only source of entertainment is allowed to be books. Number three, that's it. I'm gonna make some tea, so give me a second while I fill the kettle. Okay, I think I did that right. I literally packed a cooler, look, filled it with groceries, and I just fucking drove my ass here. Okay, now this was very spontaneous and to be honest, not super well thought out. I don't think I really thought about how frightening the desert may be at night. So when I got here, I immediately got into bed and started reading. And that was great and that lasted for about an hour. Then I got hungry, so I cooked in the kitchen. That was fun, whatever. And then I laid in bed and literally stared at the ceiling. I know. That's kind of sad, but yes, I did that. That was good, and then I was like, okay, I'm actually getting really bored. So then I cooked dinner, and then it started to get dark out. And I was like, I don't like this anymore. I don't like this anymore at all. To give you some context, I am in the middle of, a, of the desert, in a house by myself that has minimal security. I have no weapons. The closest thing I have to a weapon is this Hydro Flask, which is honestly, a relatively good weapon, but like, not a lot. And immediately, as a very anxious person, I started to, well, freak out. And I wanted to go home. But I was like, you know what? No, Emma, we're gonna stick it through. Is that even a saying? We're gonna stick it through. And we're gonna have a good day tomorrow. Originally, I was going to sleep here tomorrow night too. I decided, er, canceled. I'm only gonna make myself sleep here one night as a challenge for self-development, character growth, etc., etc. But anyway, should I give you a tour? Here is the front door. <coughs> Having serious digestive issues. So the place is really cute. If you wanna know why I picked this place out of all of the other Airbnbs I saw, Pink fridge. It kind of feels like I'm camping because I had to like bring all of my own food and stuff to cook, which was fun. I liked that element. I loved packing for this trip. It was like fun to fill up the cooler with all the food in my fridge. I also brought other stuff like salt, of course. Oh, speaking of that, I should make cold brew for tomorrow morning. Guys, I'm so smart. The quietness of the desert is almost terrifying. Like I almost hate it. Okay, I didn't bring mason jars because I'm not very smart. So we're gonna do something a little bit creative. The thing about traveling alone is I think that you need to make sure that you know what you're gonna do with your day. Cause I didn't really think about like, okay Emma, what are you gonna do every day? And I didn't plan that out. Whereas like my last solo trip, I went to New York. I had, there's so much to do, but in the desert, there's a lot less to do. Praying that this is cold brew in the morning, time will tell. There's not much to do here. Although the town um, closest to me in the place that I'm staying has many thrift stores. And although I'm trying not to shop, would it hurt? I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm freaked out. I'm trying to talk over the fact that I'm genuinely frightened for my safety. I know it'll be fine, but as most people's brain works, it's like, well, I guess not most people. Can the lights not flicker at all during this trip, please? Yes, I brought lemon juice from home in a mason jar. I'm turning into a mom, seriously, more and more every day. I brought my, have you seen, I am a mom. As I started to brush my teeth, my brain started coming up with a new creepy scenario. What if one of the neighbors is a creep and knows that this house gets rented out and they've been waiting for the perfect victim? None of the people that have come by and stayed at this Airbnb have been the perfect victim, which is why nobody knows that this guy is plotting to kill somebody. Well, he's gonna see me and say she's perfect because she's a 
vulnerable, small girl by herself and then kill me. I just want something to relax me. I feel like doing this little gua sha massage could really help, maybe. I just learned how to do this. I think I was just using it upside down. I don't know. <laughs> Are you enjoying watching this? <laughs> this really does feel really good. I can't lie. It is currently 9.30. Am I scared? A little bit, but I've tried to calm some of my anxiety by reading. I feel much better. Listen, I only have one night here. I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's like moments like this when I'm like, Emma, you fucking idiot. Why did you do this so last minute? Why didn't you just stay home? But I have to make the most of it because I'm here. My stomach hurts. But literally what's new? Want to see how much left I have of my book? Wait, if... I farted. Um, I have this much left of my book. Not much. You guys. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. If anything spooky happens throughout the night, I'll let you know, but I'm really hoping that the next clip you see of me is me in the morning, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready for the day. Also, it looks like I was itching my boob, but I swear to God I was itching the eczema in my armpit. I can promise you that. Peace and love. Hopefully I see you tomorrow. I like don't want to say goodbye to you guys because you guys are making me feel safe right now. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm not alone, and then when I turn this off, I'm alone again. Okay. Good night, love you. Good morning. <laughs> I did it! Guys, it really wasn't that bad. When I tell you I fell asleep in like 30 seconds, I did. So I don't know what I was going on about, but I'm exhausted because story time. Hold on. There was some drama. Last night at around four in the morning, I wake up and I have excruciating stomach pain. So bad, like worse than period cramps, like so bad. I'm sweating, my full body's covered in sweat. I try to take vitamins and stuff to help with my digestion because I have stomach problems. Well, I just tried a new one. Let's just say I sat on the toilet for a while. We're gonna have a fun day today. Although it is literally 40 degrees outside. It's like colder than when I was in New York. Thought the desert was, you know, gonna be hotter. Let's see how my cold brew turned out. <sighs> Worked out pretty good. I think I should get bundled up and go for a walk, but it's gonna take some courage. Oh, I didn't mean to turn the camera. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm stalling going outside because it's so cold. And if we're being honest, I did not pack properly. Like, can I show you one of the things I packed? This cute vintage short top, whatever. I was trying to be here in the desert, dressed in style, Coachella vibes. Well, clearly um, I just didn't plan properly because it's 40 degrees. So I may brave the cold and try to get an Instagram photo in this outside with timer cam because I have no friends. Until it warms up a little bit outside, I'm gonna do indoor activities, okay? Which I know it like defeats the purpose, but this is still kind of heavenly. Sitting in this gorgeous leather chair with my gorgeous cold brew in my leggings. <coughs> person body like I feel like my body just aged really badly and it's just like I'm already starting to like lock up could also be because um, I had a very restless night of sleep filled with diarrhea and feelings of severe pain if I'm being honest I thought I had appendicitis you know what appendicitis is when your appendix ex appendix when your appendix explodes my brain was starting to go there Sorry, TMI. Okay, I now realize that this whole stretching thing was a waste of time. It was a cute idea though, right? A for effort, but no. What I can do is I can go on a walk, so maybe I'll do that instead. In order to stall more so that I don't have to go outside, I'm making breakfast. I'm going to attempt to make an omelet, so we'll see how that goes. I've never made an omelet. It can't be that hard. Ow. I didn't bring like much seasoning. Thank God I have salt, but like that's pretty much all I have. We're gonna have to make that work. Watch this magic. Yup, it's really fucking loud. I don't know if that's a good thing. Okay. What? Let's see if I can do it with one hand as, oh. No, like that went bad. Like that went real bad. 
See how, oh my God, I got shell in that one too. Fuck. Mmm, raw eggs. Mmm, whatever. <laughs> if I get a little shell, it won't kill me. Oh wait, I found black pepper. This one's here. I always get kind of grossed out using like, oh, that was way too much pepper. Are you fucking with me? Looks like fucking lemon poppy seed salad dressing. I wonder where the shell went. I mean, it looks kind of pretty, right? Oh, I need to make another coffee. Wow, that was the perfect amount of cold brew. You know what? Some things are going right on this trip. Although I am gonna clickbait this video and say, trip to the desert alone went wrong. Oh great, yeah, the omelet also went wrong. Oh, I've never made an omelet, but it can't be that hard. I can't. Oh my God, that's the worst looking on. <laughs> I swear I'm not that bad of a cook. Like I swear, it's just that like, I swear. Okay, honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Really, sriracha. Sriracha really has a crazy smell, huh? I have some spicy hummus. I'm gonna add that to the top as a dollop. We're kind of working with what we have here because <laughs> I don't have like my full kitchen to be creative, to be very creative and such. It might be good. I shockingly don't hate it. It's definitely a little weird. This is the final meal in my desert home, and I feel like I did a decent enough job. And if any of you know me, you know that I like burnt eggs. So the fact that the eggs are burnt does not bother me. <laughs> well, I mean, I finished the whole thing. Couldn't have been that bad. I wonder where the shell went. There was like three shells in my eggs. I'll let you guys know how that turns out when they come out the other end. We did it. I got out of the house and I'm on a walk. It's freezing. Unfortunately, this trip has been difficult for me which is kind of a bummer considering my last solo trip was like an amazing experience. This is my second solo trip and it didn't go so well and I'm discouraged, but I'm also like, Emma, it's good for you to fail sometimes and to feel a little stupid and to feel like you didn't plan properly. It's good. Uh. It is nice to walk here though. Fit check, ugliest fit check ever. Also just ignore my hair, like I can't, <laughs> can't really explain what's going on there. This is giving me very much seventh grade side bangs. Remember in like, at least when I was in middle school, everybody wanted side bangs like this. <laughs> Ew. So everybody like tried to cut them themselves and it just went terribly bad. Miss those days. Simpler times, simpler times. Ow, fuck. I hope you enjoyed that unnecessarily long desert clip. Chances are you can't even hear me right now because it's so windy. All right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep walking. I'm out of this bitch. I decided I would pack up the car and I would adventure around the town a little bit and then just go immediately home. Because that's, I vibe checked myself. I was like, vibe check. And I, my response to myself was, you wanna go home so bad. <laughs> um, I found a coffee shop that's pretty close by. So that's my first destination. Apparently this coffee shop is in a van. So this is exciting. We got it. I feel nervous filming people around here because I feel like I'm so in the middle of the desert that they would not understand a YouTuber. Oh my God, it's actually really good. Okay, but also look how crazy I am. I went into my cooler in the back and got my nut pod. I'm taking advantage of the fact that this is gonna be the only time in my life that I actually have nut pods in my car. I mean, I'm happy. <coughs> so here's my plan for the remainder of the day. I'm gonna start driving home, but I know for a fact that on the way home, I'm going to see a lot of fun little thrift stores and stuff like that. I looked a lot of them up online and it seems like a lot of them are actually closed, which is very sad, but I feel like I don't trust the internet. Like how often are they updating their websites? You don't understand how like rustic this town is. Like literally, Everything's on like dirt roads. It's very, well there's, okay, there's not, it's not all dirt roads. Based on all of my um, context clues that I've absorbed, I can't imagine that they're updating their Yelp page or their Google page. It can be hard sometimes when you know that you're being negative. You know what I'm saying? Like you know in your brain, you're like, I know I'm being negative about said situation and I know that I need to change my mindset. I know that, but sometimes you can know that and it's like impossible to turn it off. The first good thing that's happened is this coffee. It's actually very good. Oh my God, there's another coffee shop. That one's so cute. It's too soon though. I thought 
that I was just going to read and journal and meditate and do yoga. Bitch, no. Like, it just wasn't what I was in the mood for. And then I was mad at myself because I was like, Emma, you're supposed to be on your philosophical, educational, life-altering, eye-opening journey of your late teens, early 20s. That's what you're supposed to be doing right now. And you just took yourself to Joshua Tree to do that, and now you're doing none of it, and you're scared and you're in a bad mood. You are a failure. No, I'm not. Also, I totally caved and went on my phone last night. I read my book. Listen, I read my book, but I also went on my phone. I also went on my phone a little bit today, but it's good to fail every once in a while. It's humbling. I was starting to think too highly of myself because of all the books I've been reading and all of the time I've been spending alone. I started to think that I was like, inv I just thought I was like, a genius. I was like, oh my God, I'm turning into a fucking genius. I am literally turning into a, an intellectual because I'm spending so much time alone and reading so much fucking book. I can't believe I woke up at 4 a.m. to have diarrhea. Like that's just never happened. <laughs> that's just never happened to me. And like, of course on this trip, I wake up with the worst stomach pain I've ever had and explosive. Sorry. I, Honestly, I know you guys watch my videos. Some of you guys watch my videos while you're eating and I know you're probably like, Emma, stop. I won't talk about my diarrhea anymore. But I would be lying if it wasn't still going on. It's not over. I just pulled over because I saw a thrift store and it was open. I'm just hoping that they take credit card. Wish me luck. <laughs> Y'all. It was a success. Let's do a thrift haul. The first thing I got, everything was so cheap. It was like actually thrift prices because in LA they jack up the prices of everything at thrift stores because they know that they can. I got this cute little random bag. I don't know what vibe this gives me, but I just liked it and I like the colors on it. I love this little detail here. It was like 15 bucks and it's actually really nice quality. Next thing I got, I had to get, like I just couldn't help myself. Like, come on. And honestly, it's like the material's so soft. I just feel like I'm gonna wear this more than I should. I got this leather vest. I couldn't help myself again. Look how cute it is. It says Lady Rider, which I think is so cute. Born wild, still wild. This said, deal with it, girls ride too. It ain't easy to be me. High maintenance. I wanna wear this over a hoodie and just call it a day. I love leather vests. This one's just like funny and cute. The last thing I got is so boring. Literally 10 belts. But listen, belts are so expensive. This place had so many belts and all of them were $1. So I went crazy. I got all different types. I got like this here, pink one. I just thought was super cute. Two more gold ones, this brown one, and then this black and silver one. So that was fun. I feel satisfied. I feel like I thrifted enough where like I'm not gonna be sad if I just go straight home now. I feel like I got some little things to remember my trip by. So that doesn't make me as sad. Do I even wanna remember this trip though? Back on the road, we'll see if I stop somewhere else um, and if something piques my interest. Nothing else piqued my interest on the way out of the town. I was more just absorbing the sights. And honestly, I think I enjoy the drive of road trips, sometimes even more than the trip itself. I think I'm getting my period because I'm having very bad cramps, but it also could be from my digestion supplement that kept me up all night. I'm not gonna go into detail about that again. I think I've already done it three too many times. Oh my God. Shout out to the truck next to me for getting dust all over my windshield. I didn't appreciate it, but it also wasn't their fault, I guess. I'm about to drive through Coachella Valley. Fond memories. <laughs> Honestly, it's crazy to me that Coachella didn't happen for two years. It's not gonna happen this year and it didn't happen last year. That's two years of no Coachella. And I'm like, I'm here to tell the tale. Like it didn't kill me. I have a strategy for Coachella next time we get to attend. I think I'm not gonna put any effort into my outfits. I used to put so much effort into my outfits. I would spend months planning my outfits for Coachella. I would make a literal spreadsheet presentation, but I think I'm going to do the complete opposite next time I get to go, and I'm going to put zero effort into my outfits, almost as a statement. I've changed, I've grown up, my priorities have shifted, and I no longer care about being fashionable at Coachella. But then Lord knows, Coachella's gonna come around and I'm gonna have a 20 page presentation for planning my outfits. Like it'd be like a reverse, it's like reverse psychology. Cause it's like, 
Okay, wait, actually she looks the coolest because she didn't try it all. Sorry if you can hear the rain. Maybe it's calming, maybe it's relaxing, I don't know. Maybe you enjoy it. It's just a little loud, which is bothering me personally. Anyway, TTYL. I'm home. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been this happy to be in my bed. Like, I don't know why I'm just so happy to be home. That's rare, I don't say that often. You know, I think that traveling can serve two purposes. Number one, it can give you a slice of where you wish you lived. Like, you go somewhere and you're like, oh, I wish I could live here, blah, 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 blah. I never want to leave. And you go home and you're a little bit bummed out, but you're left with this fantasy. Oh, next time, I go, like, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for the next time I get to go. And you're also left with the fantasy of maybe one day I'll move there. That's like what New York is for me. And then you have a trip that may be fun and may be cool, but you're ready to leave when it's time to leave. Like you're excited to leave and you're excited to go home and you're excited to be in your own bed. My trip was the second option. I am home and happy to be here with my kitty. Declan, do you wanna come say hi to your friends? Okay, Declan is, in a meeting right now. It's 9 p.m. Declan only takes meetings from noon to 5 p.m. So if you wanna set up a meeting with Declan, my other cat, feel free to DM me. Thank you guys for making me feel less lonely on that trip. I learned a few things. Number one, don't stay in a scary house in the middle of the desert by yourself. That's it, that's all I learned. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for making me feel less lonely on my trip. I love you and you are so important to me and you are my bestie and here's your forehead kiss. I'm gonna go to bed and enjoy my night of sleep in my comfortable bed and I will not be taking the digestive supplement that I took last night because I don't wanna wake up at 4 a.m. with sweaty clothes and Diarrhea. Anyway, I love you. I'll see you around.